the good news, but uh, let's get this report started. Let's go ahead and go with the intro. guys and welcome back my name is Captain Raphael Spanish Sardine Fishing Charters and I'm going to be giving you a uh, small fishing report what I've done this week and uh, what to expect coming up this week hey Vincent welcome hey Manuel welcome to the uh, fishing report uh, so I got some good news the good news is there's fish I've uh, been fishing been fishing lately and uh, good signs of fish uh, not so good news if anybody here has head out to uh, St. Pete Beach St. Pete Beach right now, it's uh, pretty bad with the red tide. So we do have red tide on St. Pete Beach, uh, where I am fishing at right now. It's all inside of the bay. I'm not going offshore, and I'm not going near shore right now. All I'm doing is fishing inside of the bay, doing inshore fishing charters. And uh, doing inshore fishing charters, um, I've been doing very well. Uh, there's definitely no red tide inside of the bay, uh, but there is definitely some red tide on St. Pete Beach. St. Pete Beach right now is pretty, pretty bad right now. Uh, so this week, what I've been doing, actually, let's go ahead and start with the, uh, if you guys want to go out fishing this weekend, let's go ahead and start out with the tides and the winds for this week. The tide prediction for, let's go ahead and start on Friday. The wind prediction for this Friday, the winds are going to be coming out from the south. It's going to be pretty uh, windy on, on, on Friday. That's tomorrow. Uh, we're supposed to be getting some rain early in the morning. So uh, supposed to be early in the morning, all through the morning long, we're going to be getting some rains, actually. Uh, and all through the afternoon, we're having a cold front moving in. So the winds are moving from the south to the north. And uh, they're looking from 13 knots all the way up to 18 knots for tomorrow. So pretty windy coming out of the south. Uh, so it's going to be a tough day to go fishing. I mean, there's definitely spots you guys can go to and fish. But uh, coming out of the south, it's going to be pretty, pretty windy tomorrow. Let's go ahead and go with the tides. The tides for tomorrow, 8.28, the high tide. Low tide is at 4.11. So uh, 8.28 to 4.11, uh, the best time to go out fishing for that day, for tomorrow, I would say probably like right around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, all the way up to 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, going on the outgoing tide. So we have an outgoing tide from uh, 9 o'clock all the way up to 4 o'clock. And then it's going to be coming back up. So the high tide in the evening time is going to be at 1036. Uh, and that's for Friday. On Saturday, Saturdays, uh, the wind's going to change. It's going to switch. And it's going to be coming out of the west. That does not help us out at all with the red tide. We want easterly winds so it can push that red tide out of here and take it offshore. Uh, but it's not looking that way. It's looking like we're going to have some, some west winds coming in. Uh, early in the morning, as you guys can see here, it's going to be pretty windy, uh, 20 to 21 knots, and then it's going to drop down to uh, 15 knots. Still going to be a little bit bumpy. Like I said, it's going to be coming out of the north in the, early in the morning, and that's going to switch to the west. The west are not our wind, not our, not our, not our friends. I mean, we're looking for east winds. That's really what we need to push all this red tide out of here. So it's going to be moving more of that red tide inside. So uh, hopefully. It will not affect our bay because right now the bay is looking good and healthy. Uh, let's go ahead with the with the there we go with the tides for Saturday. The high tide for Saturday is at 9:59. The low tide is at 4:59. So if I was going to go fishing on Saturday, I would go probably like right around 9 o'clock in the morning, all the way up to like 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's my best bet to go out fishing for Saturday. Like I said, once again, it's going to be bumpy though. It's going to be coming out of the north. So if you got a spot you can go to and get away from the winds, it's going to be coming out of the north on Saturday. On Sunday, it's going to be coming out of the west all day long. 
early in the morning, it's going to be a little windy, and then it's going to drop down, and it's going to die down some. Uh, on Sunday, the tides, the high tide is at 10, 11 a.m. The low tide is at 4.38. So if I was going fishing on Sunday, my best time to go fishing with the tides is going to be right around 10 o'clock and all the way up to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 2 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But like I said, it's going to be pretty windy out there, so uh, good luck to you guys. If you guys go out there and be able to go out there, just make sure you guys stay and be safe out there. A uh, couple things I'm going to show you guys. What have we got of that, Mike? All right, there we go. We got a lot. So uh, a couple of things, guys. Like I said, this week I've had a really good week. Uh, we went out. Hey, Trevor, welcome to the Fisher Report. Hey, Jack, welcome to the Fisher Report. Any, uh, what is this? Triple Tail of Bradenton Beach. Well, Jack, to be honest, I haven't gone down there. Uh, I haven't been able to go down there. I've heard that the, the triple tails are showing up, and there is some triple tail. I've heard people catching them inside of the bay. So, uh, so the triple tails I've known, and I've seen pictures of people posting that they're catching triple tails inside of the bay. Uh, Bradenton Beach, I haven't gone out there, so I really couldn't tell you, to be honest with you, Gary Jack. Uh, so uh, this week, what I've been doing, guys, I've been going inside of the, inside of the bay, and. Uh, what I've been using, nothing but artificials. Why am I using artificials? I went up to the Sunshine Skyway Bridge the other day, and I got bait. On the way back, everything died on my live well. So uh, I, I went out there, and I got some shrimp. The shrimp will survive through the red tide. And uh, even though I took some shrimp out there, I did nothing but artificial. I've been using uh, uh, the, the gotcha, the little lures, uh, and also DOA, uh, DOA uh, shad. I've been also using those. And it, it's been working really good. I got a video that I took. Let's go ahead and show you the video. I'm going to show you guys. I mean, the bay, inside of the bay, it's really, really lively. Let me show you this. If you find the birds, you will find the fish. Let me show you. All right, a little small video there, but if you saw, I mean, that was schools of, uh, we, we caught some uh, some mackerel in there. We caught some ladyfish. We caught uh, yellowtail jacks. Let me show you the, the, the fish we got here. I got some pictures of the mackerel that we caught. Show, no, no picture of the mackerel. Probably down. There we go. We got a picture of a mackerel that we caught. And uh, I got a little video that I took also of, uh, of uh, filleting mackerel, but let me go ahead and show you what else the cooler, what the cooler looked like. By the end of the day, we did have a cooler full of fish. We took the mackerel out. Uh, I did keep, keep some of the ladyfish so I can put them in my cooler and my freezer at home. Uh, I use them for shark bait. They're great, great baits for shark bait. So I, I like to save them and I put them in my freezer. And that way, when I have a charter and then when I want to go shark fishing, I'll just go ahead and take some out and, and go shark fishing. I have a little video that I we have that a, a friend of mine I went out fishing with. His name is Stowaway. Uh, he did a, uh, I have it or no? Oh, how to fillet, how he fillets the mackerel. I fillet it a little bit different, but uh, this is a really good way. And if you can see those fillets, they're all nothing but white meat. They're really good to eat. So here's a little video that I took with Stowe. Because the birds are all getting feed in. Right, guys? They like you. The rib meat out of there. Here, you want to try this one? Yeah. Okay, we fillet it. Fillet the mackerel. We're going to skin it. Get a nice skin out of there. These aren't real giant mackerel, but we're still getting nice pieces off of them. Show me that white meat. Show me the gold there, Stowaway. There it is. Show me the gold. Put it up there. Let me see it. Boom, there's the gold. Maybe you got two. Right there. Two premium pieces there out of that. All right, nothing but nice white fillets. It's beautiful. White meat, there you go. Alpha mackerel. Can't beat that. Nothing but fresh fish. As you can see there, he filleted a bunch of, uh, we caught a bunch of some, uh, mackerel, and he filleted them. He, I think he was going to do, uh, he wanted to do some fish bread with it. But the mackerel is really, really good fish to eat uh, like that night. When it's all nice and caught that day, I love mackerel, and that's the way I, 
I feel like it a little bit different, but when you get their, the end results, it's pretty much the same. What I've been doing, like I said, to catch those guys, I went out nothing but artificial artificial lures. I got the, the gotcha uh, lures, and I like the ones that have the feather at the end. Uh, that's the one that I was using, and it was working. I had a yellow feather in the end, and I also had one with a white feather at the end. And like I said, they were working really, really good. Something here. Uh, hello, Siv. Welcome to the fishing report. But yeah, that's that's what I've been doing, guys. And from from here on forward, what what I'm gonna do and what I'm what I'm expecting to do is I'm gonna be fishing inside of the bay, uh, and I'll be right on top of that school of fish that you guys just saw. There's plenty of big schools of fish right now inside of the bay. The bay is nice and lively. If I can get out there, that's where I'll be fishing at. If I'm not there, I'll probably be fishing some of the artificial reefs inside of the bay for snapper. A lot of snapper right now, and they're still chewing really good. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it for my fishing report. If you guys have any uh, questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to ask right here. And I'll stay behind and I'll answer any questions you guys may have. Uh, like I said, uh, it's, been, uh, it's, it's been good. I mean, the, the fishing inside of the bay, it's really, really good. All artificials. That's all I've been doing, nothing artificials. So uh, if you guys want to go out there, give me a call. We'll go out there and uh, be on top of it. Also, another fun thing to do is which I'm going to go ahead and go this week uh, and, and film film a little bit. But for you guys that love to fly fish, if you guys have fly rods and fly reels like that, man, if you can get on a school like the one that I was at, all you got to do is just throw it out there and you're going to be hooked up. And it's a lot of fun. The flies, if you guys are fly, uh, fly fishermen, you guys know it, it gets really, really addictive. And it's a lot of fun to uh, fly fish. So what I'm going to be doing, guys, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be going targeting the mackerel. Uh, there's ladyfish. There's jacks in there. There's bluefish in there. If not, I'm going to be targeting also the snapper. Uh, the snapper bite continues to be really good in the bay. A lot of the markers are holding it. Uh, what I'm going to be using for bait is going to be nothing but shrimp. I am not going out to the Skyway, uh, Skyway Fishing Pier or Potter's Pier or East Beach or anywhere else. I know inside of the bay there is bait. There is some white bait inside of the bay. But I've been doing really, really good just throwing artificials. So I've been doing a lot more artificial fishing now. And uh, also with shrimp. The shrimp, I love shrimp to use for the, for the snapper. So that's it, guys. That's pretty much it for my fishing report. Uh, if you guys liked it, you can share it. If not, you can go. If you have any other questions, just go ahead and ask right here. And I'll stay behind for a little bit. And I'll ask any questions you guys may have. Until next week, guys, uh, just go out there and go fishing.